Hello and welcome to another video. I really don't know where to start because there's so much going on right now. <clears throat> so I just decided to make a quick update video. Actually, it's gonna be two videos because it's two totally different topics and so I don't wanna mix them. So I just make two videos of them. I think it's gonna be two short ones because at the moment there's not that much to talk about on one topic. So, <clears throat> as you already saw, most likely in the title, we're talking about the steering wheel first. And this one, let's get just to it. So, the steering wheel. As you can see, it's not the stock steering wheel anymore. We decided to make a snap-off version because getting in and out of the car with a fixed seat will be quite challenging or not that comfortable and that's why I decided to make a snap-off for it so it's just easier to get in and out. And the reason for that or the reason for the fixed seat is quite easy. First of all, I'm, I'm going to be sitting lower because there's no seat rails anymore. So it's going to be around 20 millimeters lower than before. That's one of the things. So the, so the weight is going to be also 20 millimeter lower so or my weight, which is good. That's the first thing. The second reason is just pure safety. A fixed mounted seat is one less thing that could break in case of an accident. So I just decided to bolt it directly to the chassis and that's what I'm gonna do. So let's have a quick look at the steering wheel. As you can see, you can just take it off like this. It's, um, I'm gonna show you that in a minute when light is a little bit better. It's an RRS carbon fiber steering wheel with, I used some titanium bolts, which I still had, and the Krontek snap-off. Krontek is, I think, one of the best, if not the best manufacturer for racing parts, especially high quality racing parts. I had some cheap snap-offs in the, in the past, and they just had all a little wobble in them and I just don't like that. So I wanted something that's just like it's bolted to the, to the car and which this one is. It has a, a special release, which is conical, I think. I'm gonna show it to you in a minute. And then we used the, this one right here. It's So let's have a quick look at this one before we're going to the steering wheel. This one also bolted to the hub. These are also titanium bolts, which I still had. This one's from, I don't know, the manufacturer, but it's from uh, Jesse. I got it from Hanshin Imports. They just make these or they just import these from Japan. You can switch all the necessary stuff and these just work just fine. So. As you can see, it's not no tooth in here. So it's just a smooth surface. And when you put it on, it looks just like this and it snaps right on. And when it's on it, it's just, it doesn't move. So it just doesn't move a bit. This is just in the steering column. As you can see the buttons wiggling also. So that just works perfectly fine. These are also tit titanium bolts, just a little bit lighter than uh, stock. So let's have a look at the steering wheel. As you can see, when, you, when you're pressing it, these just slide right out. And these, that's the only thing that locks the steering wheel in. And these are, just working perfectly fine. As you can see, it just snaps right on, even with one hand. And I like this very much because it just has one position where it fits. So you don't have to guess how the steering wheel gets on. 
it just fits and it's also just a one hand release that's very nice and these just work very well i was honestly quite impressed how good these fitted in and they all still work pretty decent and that's just very nice it's a 3d printed part it could be more perfect as you can see there's still some you can see where the printing was it's not very smooth but if you want it to have perfect you can just sand it down and paint it so i'm obviously not gonna paint it because for me it's just a pure racing thing and so i let everything open and i just don't care honestly but it does look very nice it fits also very nice there's also some different adapters for the back you can have i just used this one there's also something else which covers a little bit more and it just works very nice so that's it about the steering wheel it just works very nice and everything fitted just absolutely perfect it was a really nice piece of kit but it's it takes a moment to fit everything i used i don't know four four and a half hours to remove the steering wheel and get every button over so it's not that easy or not that fast so let's have a look at the original steering wheel how that looks right now you're gonna see some other stuff which i'm not gonna talk in this video that will be a part of the next video i talked about so you'll see so that's the stuff i'm not gonna talk about right now but you're gonna see all of that in the next video so that's the original steering wheel the airbag and as you can see there are no buttons left you can just take them out completely with all the wiring loom and stuff and it just goes straight in the other adapter i'm not gonna show you how to remove the airbag because that's something you shouldn't do at home i think it's highly dangerous or i know it's highly dangerous so that's why i'm not gonna show you how to remove it it's actually quite easy it doesn't take a lot of time but you need to know how and please just don't do that at home if you want to have one of these installed go to a, a shop who knows how to work with airbags and please let them do that work that's why i'm not going to show you how to do this it's just for me it's just a, a safety issue so that's why i'm not going to show it to you sorry i wanted to have this because of the seat we're going to install i don't know if i showed that already let's have a quick look and this is the seat it's the omp ah it's just packed in you can see that much i'll show you the picture how it looks Yeah, and that's the seat I'm gonna install, the OMP, I don't know what it's called, HTL, no, no. HTE Evo. It's just much more safe than the Recaro pole position. It's a pure FIA, pure racing seat. That's why I'm gonna use that, just because of safety reasons. Yeah. So, that's already it for this video. It's if you want one of these for European buyers, just go to Hanshin Imports. I got it from him. And I'm gonna show you the link somewhere below here or in the, in the description. I think he has, there's actually two versions of it. Uh, the one is the standard version. That's the one I have. And there's also a shorter version of it. I don't know why that's more expensive, but it is more expensive, so it's, less material i think it's maybe more complicated to manufacture i don't know but it's just a little bit more expensive and but it's shorter by i don't i think 20 millimeters so if you want one of these just hit up jesse at hanshin and he'll gonna make sure you'll get one i think that's it for this video if you have any questions just let me know in the comments and or write me an email that's what I've done today.
So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Have a good week. Bye.